E, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TKRD is here with How to Say Anime in the Season. This is the fall 2023 season of anime. So, I actually went through the list, but that list was really, really long. I didn't want to post a super long video knowing y'all that ain't finna tune into it. So, I went through the whole list just now. I still have the full video, but I'm not gonna post the full video. We gotta, uh, we got that condensed version for y'all. So so this list, it was very long, longer than I expected, but it's only like four anime in this season that I'm actually interested in. But I will recognize anime that I knew that is very popular. First off, we got the Rising of Shield Hero season three. That's a hot one. I've been uh looking forward to this returning, so glad to see it back. It's back at the right time, the cold season is fall. It's, it's cold here now, man. I was tired of that hot heat. My most anticipated one, that Goblin Slayer Season 2. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm excited to see it back. Don't watch it with your kids. This is not for your goddamn kids' eyes to see. It's very gruesome. It's very brutal. It's very gritty. It's very freaky. All right. Then we got Spy Family Season 2. They've been very consistent dropping the Spy Family uh, stuff ever since last year they dropped like two different parts and they're back again and they got a movie coming out this year too so lots of spy family content and they got a video game they just they just announced that the direct Nintendo direct like a week or so ago then we got the uh, Dr. Stone for those who's into Dr. Stone y'all have some more Dr. Stone for those who don't know I was into Dr. Stone and then I stopped watching it right when they got to like season three I fell off I wasn't feeling it anymore I don't even want to force myself to watch it. So, yeah. This one right here seems pretty interesting. I don't know. I never, I don't know anything about it. This is a new anime here. It's called Sozin No Farin. So, pretty much, they just got done dealing with, like, a demon or whatever. And as they're departing, this, this party members, it's like four people. Apparently, the party members end up slowly passing away one by one. So, I guess the main character is going to try to figure out why this is happening is someone being targeted it's just, just a coincidence who knows then we got tokyo avengers that's like season three lots of time skips i mean like like lots of time traveling back and forth some killings some betrayals yada 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 if y'all been watching tokyo avengers y'all know what to expect from this third season coming up so that's the hot one as well and then oh yeah this is the last one Undead Unluck. So this is a man it's a manga. This is this is a manga that I was gonna pick up right around the time I had first got the Zone 100 mangas, which is like a year or two ago. I was gonna get the manga right with the Zone 100, but I never did. Now we got the, the anime version of it coming out, so we're gonna tune into the anime version of it. But this is gonna be a hot one, so keep your eyes on that Undead Unluck. And then I'm pretty sure that was the last one for sure. Oh yeah, hold on, wait. This is one, I'm not into it. I only watched the first season and I fell off with it because I wasn't feeling it like that. But The Seven Deadly Sins is back. I'm not sure what season this is, but it's back for those Seven Deadly Sins fans. So there y'all go. And scroll through a little bit. If y'all remember the Toilet Spirit thingy, this is, I guess it's a spinoff of him. Hmm. Got some, uh, a lot of isekais. This one I'm interested in. Um, Kami Iraibai, or however you want to pronounce it. First year high school student at a private school. He has some hopes and dreams. I think one day he ends up, uh, is this the one where he gets an app? I think he, I think, I think he gets a mysterious app on his phone. Yep. Yeah, that, I think that one's going to be interesting, so I'm going to watch that. Oh, yeah, Fully Cooley is back with, a, like, three episodes. It's going to be on Adult Swim uh, September 30th, so stay tuned in if you want to see that. I'll give it a watch. Mm, I'm kind of interested in this anime, some type of fire, fire-looking type anime. I had it to my list here, but I, I plan on checking this out. Megumi no Diago. Diago? Uh, I ain't finna say it with, so I'm already botching it. And, oh yeah, I'm mentioning this one too. Bull Buster. 
So this guy gets transferred to uh, another company. It's a it's like a termination type job. And he's working with a robot, I guess, as a co as a coworker. But they're trying to kill some strange ass creature. We don't know what it is. But it seemed like to be a big, big threat. So that's interesting to me as well. It's action sci fi. And Oh yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie. Uh where is it? Oh yeah, the only Musha got a, a little something going on Netflix. I got the game on my Switch. Very close to beating it, the only Musha game. But that got like a series or something coming to Netflix. And then you got this movie here. I don't get the English title for it, but it seems like from the synopsis, I already mentioned this earlier, a spy family movie. But from this synopsis here, it seems to be this guy he has a girlfriend and they on like graduate on graduation day. Some girl that resembles his girlfriend comes up to him, and I didn't read the rest of the time. I just kind of wanted to spoil myself of the, the plot, but I think that his girlfriend somehow got turned back younger. And oh, I didn't see this. And my hero academia got like a O. Is that OBA? Oh, that's a movie. Oh, that's a movie. Okay, I might check that out. Maybe, maybe not. I, I fell off on that, on that crap with that freaking damn. That's the other season. That season was boring as hell. I've been stopped watching my hair, academia. Temple got a, some specials dropping. Okay, two Temple specials. Temple just wrapped up in the uh, the summer season of this uh, anime. But yeah, high sense season. Quick recap one more time. This is way shorter than the video I just previously recorded. I shortened it for y'all. So don't be stingy. Give my ass a thumbs up. Man, it's too short for y'all. Rising Shield Hero Season 3. Goblin Series Season 2. Spy Family Season 2. We got uh, Dr. Stone New World Part 2. We got this one right here. So So No Fearing. We got the Bull Buster. We got the Tokyo Revengers. We got the Undead. Unluck, which is going to be a one that I hope is really good. I was going to get the manga along with Zone 100 when I first got into Zone 100. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins returning for those who like Seven Deadly Sins. And I think that was it, right? I think that was it. Oh, yeah, I was going to watch this one too. This was the one I mentioned saying. Yeah, I mentioned the other one, the party pass the other one. It was called like Ball Buster. And that Firefly one I was gonna check out too. Oh, and Fully Cooley for those who wanna watch that Fully Cooley three episode piece. But anyways, I'm TK, TK RDS. If you already done took a look at the the fall 2023 list, tell me what animation you're looking forward to. If not, take a look and tell me what you're looking forward to from the little stuff I done talked about here. But I wanted to Make a short video. I ain't want to jump me super long because that list was longer than I expected. And to be honest, it's not that many interesting things there that I want to check out personally. But I'm glad we got at least about four of them from this season that I'm looking forward to and I can enjoy this fall. But anyways, on TKT or this, thanks for tuning in. Check out my Zone 100 episode 9 review. It's already up. And uh, yeah, till next time. Talk to y'all ass later. Check out my live streams, maybe. I'll be streaming. I'll be seeing y'all though. We all that though.